Just to show y'all, I don't have it all together. <laughs> I burnt the stuff, man. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gonna have to make them believe us. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. Before this video officially starts, I just want to make one point really clear. Just because things didn't go as planned, you over ate or you had a treat that whatever. It's okay. You're not a failure. You're not a loser. Don't beat yourself up. It happens. It happened to me. You continue on long enough, it's going to happen to you. Don't say, I don't got no willpower. I'm weak. No. It's okay. All right? Put it behind you. All right. New low this morning. It was almost a full pound, 0.8. That's fine. I'll take it. Like I said, um, I noticed the trend that I was heading towards a wasted week, but you know where I was going to stall out. So the little adjustment, it, it at least got me closer to a pound. That's fine. On Saturday, I had a cheat day. Cheat days are awful. They're not things you want to do. They can ruin your whole week's worth of uh, progress that you could be having. It takes depend on how bad it is it could take three four or five days back in a deficit for you to recover and get back to where you started so just to be transparent i ate and i'm gonna put it all on i ate a, a burger and fries that was my first meal then i followed up with chips and queso then i had a cookie with that i had some graham crackers, a, I guess you can call it a rice bowl <laughs> with some chicken, and some Oreos. Or maybe they had like two packs of graham crackers. So, way overdid it. My, my Honestly, what I was planning on doing was having a cheat meal. The, the easy difference between a cheat day and a cheat meal is a cheat meal is one meal that, you, that you're going to have Preferably some of you've been craving, you know, up up until uh, that point. You know, if you've been dieting, like in my case, I was going three straight weeks uh, straight, you know, straight down the line. And uh, so if you like if you're craving something, pizza, you have a few slices of pizza or like in that case, burger fries. You have your burger and fries. But that's it. You do that and you kind of stay, you know, lower calorie for the rest of those meals the rest of that day. Cheat day is what I did. <laughs> it wasn't just one meal. It was the whole day. Screwed it up. So, yeah, that's what that's the difference. You don't want to do it. That's why you don't want to do it. I did it, and then I got to pay for it. All right. Meal prep is on the way. All I did so far is measure the rice. That's uh, one serving, 45 grams, five days. You know, Monday through Friday. Got the uh, rice cooker right here. Get the beans going, the corn, my veggies, and got the chicken in there. That's where we at right now. Just to show y'all, I don't have it all together. <laughs> I burnt the stuff, man. I got, I, uh, I don't use this uh, much. The last time I used it the first time, Instant Pot rice cooker. I don't know if it's just a rice cooker, that's all I'm using it for. But uh, forgot to put the water in there, man. man that's just ridiculous. <laughs> It's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> we'll try it again. Lesson learned this time. <laughs> Get that water. All right. See? Learn from your mistakes. Yep, got to add my cheese. I got it right there. Got to finish with my chicken, with my chicken and veggies. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I know that's going to be good, y'all. That's going to be good. That's three whole eggs, the steak meat, and, of course, you see that cheese on top. Yes! All right, here go the final products. All these burritos are... Uh, usually, I have two. I'm having three this time. So, I'm consider those lunch, whatever you want to call them. This going to be breakfast. I don't, I don't even really get into the lunch, breakfast, dinner thing. But anyway, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm actually making dinner this time. 
Lately, I haven't. I've been just cooking my pancakes. And uh, this is it. This is going to be dinner. It's the whole thing, Monday through Friday. I'm very structured by nature. I don't really feel like you should be uh, winging, winging things. That's in life at all, really. I feel like you should always have a plan. Be willing to adjust your plan and, you know, improve things and be willing to change things. But the point I'm bringing, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I've been like the last week or two, as far as my workouts, they haven't been structured that mo for the most part, I've been weakening. And the reason really is I just hadn't taken out time to cater my workout program to the equipment I have because I'm trying really not to go to the, um, the commercial gym that I go to because I don't, you know, they may shut down again. You got, you know what's going on. Don't want to wear that mask, all that. So really I have everything I need. I got my bench. I can either even do a little leg work. Of course, I got my bar. Uh, got my plates. They all kind of scattered around. <laughs> but yeah, I got my, um, my uh, what are we going to call these, man? The holders? What are we going to call them? But you know, if you guys live, you know what I'm talking about. To change the positions, I got my hex bar. Some people call it a trap bar, but you got my hex bar. Do some deadlifts, see the cardio machines. I'm at it. I'm going to go ahead and finally cover this back part up where I just got stuff, um, you know, hidden, but not hidden. You got my little dumbbell set, easy bar curl. I have everything that I need to have pretty much any kind of work I want to have. The problem is the workouts that I have put together already they involve equipment that I don't have. Makes sense, right? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This weekend, I'm gonna make sure that I cater me, make up me a program with the stuff that I have the ability to do so I can try to do everything here and not go to the commercial gym. When I said it was hot, look at that. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's crazy. So I'm get hot in here, man. I was so ready to eat. Got to show y'all <laughs> what I was eating. This is um, what I meal prep for the week. That is uh, the Philly cheese, eggs, and cheese. Yeah, I'll put the macros on the screen. Now let me eat, let me enjoy. What should you do after you had a bad day at the office? You know, so as I said, I pretty much had a cheat day. So how do you recover from a cheat day? I'm gonna tell you the way you don't recover from a cheat day. Don't go try to make up for it in physical activity, like doing excessive cardio, uh, just things that you want to normally do. Don't go do that. Don't try to cut your calories to compensate um, for that going over, way over your calories or however you did it. Just get back on the wagon. That's it. Just get right back on your regu regular schedule program and act like it never happened. And just know you set yourself back, you know, a little bit, but that's okay. Hide back on the wagon, keep it going. That's the easiest and the simplest way to recover. All right, back for meal number two. Got that same burrito I gotta show you again. This was number three. I'm having three a day. I'm gonna show you the first two. And I know that the uh, chicken, beans, queso, corn. Then, of course, 
I gotta have my sriracha. Love this stuff. See, that's what I'm finna eat right now. It's roughly like 12, 12.30. Gonna do that before they come get me to, to, uh, to load me. Get rolling. Do this like every two weeks. Seems like I got enough jugs. Big old money saving money. Should give it a shot. So I got my chicken. So I'm gonna get pal of these. Pal of my steak that I've been eating. Yeah, it's, money. it's not even that much money either. It's not that bad. It used to be like five dollars or something. Okay, this is gonna be the third and final meal. I'm supposed to have a smoothie. I just, being lazy and just don't really feel like having it. So my last meal, we be chicken and veggies with some sweet and spicy sugar-free barbecue sauce. And then I'm gonna follow it up with a little protein snack. Protein bar, call it a snack. I want to record some more, but the video is going to be long enough. So having said that, subscribe, like, comment, share if you made it this far. I appreciate you. Matter of fact, if you did, just to prove that you did, down in the comment section, put Lean Trucker. It's, that's it. Just Lean Trucker if you made it. I really appreciate you guys' time. Keep it in mind. Stay on the grind one day at a time. Salute.